Hi, Dave Lee here, commercial aviator, thermographer, and part 107 drone pilot. In this episode of FLIR Delta, we're going to talk about a type of color palette called an isotherm, what they are, when to use them, and when not to use them. Isotherms highlight certain temperature ranges so that they stand out to the operator. Depending on the camera you're using, you may have isotherms with preset ranges, like InstAlert, or you may be able to use the camera's interface or app to designate a temperature range you want to highlight. Like with other color palettes, it helps to know what isotherms were designed to do. See, in industrial applications, some components have a maximum temperature spec. Once a component hits that threshold, it may have to be taken offline and inspected or even automatically replaced. The purpose of the isotherm is to make sure anything above a certain temperature threshold raises a visual red flag so the thermographer doesn't accidentally miss it. If you're already using isotherms, either as a thermographer or as a firefighter, you'll use isotherms the same way from a drone as you would with a handheld camera. But in public safety missions like search and rescue, we've seen more and more people using isotherms incorrectly, so we wanted to address some misconceptions that may have cropped up. SAR operators in particular should avoid isotherms for two reasons. There are too many variables for them to be used reliably, and they can actually hide what you're looking for. What variables? Well, think about what you have to know for an isotherm to give you reliable results. What temperature is the person you're looking for? And don't say 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That's their core temperature, not their skin temperature. What are they wearing? Clothing insulates, reducing the amount of energy the person is giving off even more. What are their clothes made of? Are they emissive or reflective? What's the wind chill, and how is that affecting their skin temperature? Is it raining? Are they sweating? How much body fat do they have? Are they sick? Newer operators often make the mistake of thinking that the temperature readings they're seeing are absolute corrected values. They're not. Unless you can compensate for emissivity, reflected temperature, and atmospherics, your temperature values will be relative, not absolute. So your isotherms won't be set accurately. Sure, it can work every now and then, especially under controlled circumstances, but are you willing to bet a life on it? Let's say that your isotherms are set perfectly. Don't forget about the victim's surroundings. The person you're searching for may be standing next to a rock or a tree that's giving off roughly the same amount of energy, especially during the day. In that case, the isotherm can actually hide the person you're searching for because there's no way to tell the difference between a rock, a tree, and a person if they're all the same shade of yellow or red. When you're trying to detect subtle heat signatures in those conditions, the most effective proven solution has been to switch between black hot and white hot to see if one reveals something the other doesn't. Isotherms can be used in this mix, but don't fall into the trap of relying on them to detect a target for you. So thanks for watching this episode of FLIR Delta. Keep checking back for new episodes and free helpful downloads at fleer.com slash delta. Fly safe. I'll see you next time.